This video is part two of a two-part video series on dust collection nozzles specifically designed for a bandsaw. This video described the dust collection nozzle designed for a standard 4-inch hose connection. A previous video described a dust collection nozzle with a 2.5-inch hose connection designed for attachment to a standard shop vacuum canister. For additional details on the dust collection nozzles for the bandsaws, please visit our webpage on these nozzles. The link to this web page is listed below in the description section on this video. This is a new dust collection nozzle which is designed for 4 inch hose connections. This uh, dust collector nozzle is very similar to our previous 2.5 inch model. It's just much larger because you can use it in a larger vacuum system. And because everything is larger, it's much more efficient. This actually measures 6 inches by 6 inches by about 5 inches deep. It has been the same features as our previous model has the uh, bars across the front that let sawdust get in, but st uh, stops the uh, collection of big chips or blocks from going into your vacuum system. has a tapered ramp front edge, has our magnet on the bottom that attaches to your bandsaw table, and has this 4-inch four, four hose connection on the outside. also has a, an adapter, 45 degree angle adapter, that you can use to direct your sawdust at various angles. The front face of this dust collection nozzle is triangular shaped with a flat bottom edge laying flat on the bandsaw table surface and its bottom front edge is beveled for efficient dust collection. I designed the nozzle with gently sloping triangular sides instead of a square or round shape for the nozzle front plate to better collect the sawdust when used with the bandsaw. The bars on the front face permit the collection of sawdust but they also prevent the larger wood fragments from being collected. I designed this feature to prevent the vacuuming of the wedges when cutting wedges for segment wood turning. The dust collection nozzle was designed to efficiently collect the sawdust by eliminating any corners or boxed in edges on the inside contours of the nozzle and therefore provide for a smooth unrestricted flow path for the sawdust. This cross section drawing shows the smooth travel path of the sawdust inside the nozzle with no corners to trap any sawdust. The other main feature of this dust collection nozzle is a round magnet on the bottom plate. This magnet is screwed into place on the bottom plate and efficiently holds the dust collection nozzle on the bandsaw table surface. An optional 45 degree angle adapter was also designed for this dust collection nozzle to efficiently direct the sawdust being collected. The inside front edge of this 45 degree adapter is slightly tapered to enable the adapter to snugly fit into the end of the dust collector nozzle. The other end of the adapter is the same 4.0 inch OD as a nozzle hose connection port. This adapter can be twisted to any angle to direct the sawdust to your desired direction. The Fusion 360 software generated the STL file, which was then transferred to the 3D printer slicer program, which in turn generated the G-code to print both the 4-inch dust nozzle and the 45-degree adapter. They were both printed as a set at the same time. This is a sped up video of the actual 3D printing of the nozzle and the adapter using the PLA plastic filament material. The total printing time for the two parts is just about 10 hours. I have my dust shield installed on my bandsaw and I have it here about, oh it's about an inch away from the bandsaw blade. I have my 45 degree angle going to my vacuum hose and I'm using one of the Grizzly uh, 4 inch uh, vacuum systems which has a pretty uh, powerful suction vacuum for collecting the sawdust. So this again is mounted to my bandsaw blade. I'm using it in the back because I'm going to be using my AccuSlice system. But if I, had, if I also could use this from the front or any angle, it doesn't much matter how you could use it. This magnet attaches it to the plate. Okay, now I'm ready to start cutting some boards. I'll be trying a couple different things to try a couple different projects to see what kind of uh, views I can get of the actual cutting of the boards and actually the collection of the sawdust. Kind of try and create some uh, indirect lighting to see if I can actually see the sawdust being collected. For this first cut, I've installed my taper jig on my bandsaw. I want to try something a little different. I want to try making four angle cuts to make a tapered leg. So let me try that and, and we'll see if we can see the sawdust being generated. It's going to be a fairly short cut, only about uh, oh, six inches long.
after I finished tapered leg, I did a pretty good job. I was tapered on all four sides. And you saw that at the end it actually sucked this piece of wood off against the uh, vacuum system. That eliminated getting, you know, chipped up in the bandsaw blades. So that worked out real nice. For this next test I used another board I mounted to my angle jig, but I cut it at a straight uh, angle. And again, you can see some of the sawdust coming off the system from the bottom of the uh, board. And here I'm making a second cut on the same board, same straight angle. And once again, you can clearly see the sawdust being picked up by the vacuum nozzle. Okay, this is a, a four inch thick wide board of poplar. And I mounted to my standard uh, vacuum sled too. Again, that worked really well. Uh, almost no sawdust here against the rail, which is very important because it's underneath the uh, roller bearings and nothing on the outside of the table here, so that's pretty good. But some dust on the outside of the table here. So let me try one thing more. Let me try moving the dust shield back further. Right now it's about an inch away from the bandsaw blade. But what if it was further away or closer, one or the other? And now we're like two inches away from the bandsaw blade. You know, being further away, it may collect some more of the sawdust as it was getting outside the uh, shield. Uh, but maybe closer would be better, it wouldn't, wouldn't get out there. So, we really need to try both. Well, there's more sawdust in here, but it seems to be less out, out here. So let me try moving the dust shield as close as I can to the bandsaw blade, maybe even like half an inch away, see if that makes any difference. So my dust shield is about oh, three eighths of an inch away from the bandsaw blade. Well, the dust shield being so close to the uh, bandsaw blade, it was hard to see any sawdust being collected, but it did a pretty efficient job. There's basically nothing inside here. Now, there's still stuff outside, and I think what's happening there is that's coming from the top of the blade, bouncing off the top of the shield, or just coming in from the top of the bandsaw blade and just scattering out. Uh, so that's not coming from down here. I think it's coming from, from up here. This concludes this video of the new dust collection nozzle for the bandsaw. This nozzle has a 4 inch hose connection. A previous video demonstrated the dust collector nozzle with a 2.5 inch hose connection. Both dust collection nozzles work quite well picking up most of the sawdust that was generated on top of the table of the bandsaw. The 4 inch nozzle may have been a little more efficient than the 2.5 inch model just because it's much larger and it's connected to a stronger vacuum system. The magnet on the base of the nozzle enabled the positioning and holding of the position of the nozzle on the bandsaw table surface. The optional 45 degree adapter is available if you need to direct the sawdust to the left or right side of the bandsaw. In summary, both the 2.5 and the 4.0 inch dust collector nozzles for the bandsaw work quite efficiently to collect most of the sawdust that is generated on the top surface of the bandsaw table. Additional details on the dust collection nozzles for the bandsaw is available on our website. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions or concerns, as always, please give us a call or drop us an email. Thank you.